My name is Corey Sirago, and this is how advanced manufacturing and automation make Lund boats the best on the water. The decoiler is one of the newest pieces of equipment we have in the parts fab department. It's really where every 10,000 pound coil of aluminum starts. And you gotta imagine all of that material has a lot of memory saved in it. So really what the decoiler is doing is processing that coil through a sheet of levelers. Each leveler has an individual sensor that it's sensing pressure differences from and applying a specific force to flatten that sheet out. The turret is one of the coolest machines we have in parts fab. It's responsible for adding a curved flange on a lot of our aluminum parts. You gotta imagine on a deep V boat, as you travel forward in the boat, that bottom running surface becomes more and more curved. We wanna add internal structure to all of it. So the turret is responsible for adding that flange around a curve, which on a traditional press break would take hundreds upon hundreds of hits. The turret works by manipulating a sheet of aluminum with three different fingers. It's grabbing that sheet and manipulating it under a tool head to add step by step that curved flange. The laser is responsible for cutting all of the most complex parts we have on a Lund boat. Anything we can think to program and throw at it, it can basically spit out for us. It has a single sheet of aluminum processed underneath the laser head and it's cutting all of those unique part shapes that make up all of your internal and external structure. All of the aluminum gets its 3D contours added with what we call press brakes around the outside of the department. Every operator is gonna have a specific bend sequence and every part number is gonna have specific tooling set up so that every contour and the correct heights of bends get added to the aluminum part. New to the plant this year is our bottom riveting robot cell. The cell is really cool and can process three rivets at a time, connecting all of the internal structure through the bottom of your hull. It has two robots working in tandem, one using a vision system to identify where these three rivets should be inserted. It then drills the holes, communicates with its robot partner, and those two robots work in tandem to install and buck rivets to completion. Every Lund boat will get flotational foam added in our foaming department. It's an AB style foam and when those two chemicals react, they expand and fill up any cavity they're inserted into. The foam actually, while we add it for flotation, adds a lot of rigidity to the boat as well. It basically adheres to all the aluminum around it, making every empty cavity a, a more solid structure. Depending on what a customer selects for options, we have two machines, both CNC carpet and vinyl cutters that are responsible for cutting all of the unique shapes that go into the furniture on your boat. Every option will queue up a specific program and that machine will cut all of those unique shapes in unison and deliver them to an operator for unload at the end of the table. So the clincher is unique and it's a different way of manufacturing as opposed to adding a nut, bolt, screw, or rivet. Clinching is a machine that actually pinches two layers of aluminum together. It indents the one layer by depressing it into another and what you're left with is basically a, a rigid joint, similar to a nut and bolt, but without adding anything in terms of additional fastening. Just like a boat physically travels through the plant, we also track it electronically through each department as well. That allows our dealers and customers to individually look at their order and see how their order is progressing. One of those tools we use is an MES suite, which basically has each operator log starts and completes by station, which ultimately tells us how our boats are flowing through the plant. In addition to that MES system, we use a tool called Andon, which tracks progress within each department, and then ultimately, again, helps us boil up progress through the plant. Andon can be used to track whether a boat is running successfully, on time, or if assistance is needed, whether it's obtaining new material, asking a question, or just leaning on their partner for some support. One way we're really trying to improve our material handling and aluminum picking process is by adding in vertical storage systems. These systems allow us to organize parts boat by boat on individual trays so that an operator can just select what tray they want and be presented with all the parts that are needed. Last but not least, one of our ongoing initiatives is to continue to implement and roll out torque tools throughout the facility. Torque tools allow an operator to install a nut and a bolt, use a single tool, and know that that joint is going to be fastened correctly. The tool will shut off at the recommended and preset value, and then all of that data is then recorded for us to use for continuous improvement and testing purposes.